First question, how are you staying fit during the COVID-19 lockdown? David? Well, Brian, I bought myself one of these little uh, ellipticals that goes under your desk. It's called a QB, and I actually have it right here. I'll show it to you. It's heavy. It's hard to lift because I'm out of shape, but it was pretty cheap. I got it refurbished. And uh, yeah, if you don't have much space or anything and you want to move a little bit, I feel like it's pretty useful, uh, especially working from home. So that sounds pretty awesome, Dave. I am That's like fun. like sitting at my desk constantly. Uh, you know, like the COVID lockdown hasn't really changed anything, uh, but I was living a pretty uh, stagnant lifestyle before all of this. And now it's Same. just that much worse. Um, so that looks like a pretty good solution. Um, yeah, honestly, I got it before this whole crisis because I knew I was already sitting at my desk all the time. So it just happened to work out pretty well. Yeah. Uh, to answer the question, I am not staying fit during the COVID-19 lockdown. Uh, I know I have to make some dramatic life changes and uh, and hopefully VR is going to play a huge part in that. What about you, mm -hmm. AJ? Well, luckily for you, Brian, there are a lot of VR games that are actually physically demanding. You and don't say. A, a lot of really great ones, too. Can you I play. Tell us a few? <laughs> I'm I quite can curious to do that, Dave. For sure. Uh, there, there is like, you know, Beat Saber has been one uh, for me that's pretty popular um, because it's just fun to play and you get kind of a workout in the process. Uh, but then uh, along with that, I mean, uh, Sprint Vector is like this amazing jet grind radio style game. And yeah, you're swinging your arms, you're climbing stuff, you're crunching, you're doing all this stuff, doing like squats. Um, Creed is possibly one of the most physical games I've ever played in my life. And that's mm -hmm. a lot of punching. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Box VR is probably the best. Uh, actually, it is the best uh, fitness app that I've seen people be hooked to lately. Yeah. And funny enough, you know, that's available through Perp Games as a, as a physical disc, isn't it? Can't these people go out there and buy it from Perp? I think actually those last three I mentioned are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right, guys. Get your wallets ready if you want to stay fit. And paid for by Perp Games. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs>so so what's your favorite single fitness vr app i've been using a lot of beat saber and really what's happening is it's just a game that i enjoy playing but you get kind of a secondhand workout uh from playing it a lot um other than that sprint vector has been always a go-to and uh that's just been one of my favorite games since it released uh, in 2018 and those two are probably my favorite games that translate into a workout yeah i think beat saber is an awesome choice man because it, it does feel very much like a game it's a skill that you have to work at and improve and the more you play the harder it gets or the harder more, more difficult levels you can tackle and and then those become a better workout for you i for a very long time ignored beat saber and was like i'll get back to this and then recently i've been getting back to it and finding so much satisfaction from tackling some of the harder levels Absolutely. Expert and expert plus is when you start actually cracking that sweat. You know, I think Especially for me, I'm going to say I'm going to say box VR, actually, because if we're talking fitness, Beat Saber is a fun game. Very, very cool game. And you feel like you're doing something active. But in box VR, you really are squatting and exerting force. And it much faster gets you into an actual kind of workout routine. Mm -hmm. Um, so if we're talking just straight fitness, as much as I love Beat Saber, I feel like I'm overestimating how much health benefit it has when I'm playing it, you know? So, well, it has the nice, like, re like it's got like the timing. So it's got like these intervals you can set and it's got a great track list. It's got a huge, huge. variety of music, yeah. much better Everything variety you think of. than, uh, than Beat Saber does actually. It's got like metal and rock and stuff. Yeah. There. I mean, the quality is a little more like, uh, free to use music kind of level of quality, but yeah, it's still good. Favorite multiplayer, multiplayer fitness VR app. My favorite multiplayer uh, VR fitness app is absolutely Sprint Vector. Um, and I just love the mixture of rollerblading and parkour with this uh, kind of Mario Kart design and just tons of obstacle courses to conquer and challenges to do. There's so much content as well, of course, as the multiplayer where by the end of each race, you just hear everybody panting really hard. And uh, they also have like a little obstacle course at the end of each race where you can play around with. 
Yeah, I have to second that because uh, I think as far as multiplayer stuff goes, there's, you know, you've got your creeds, you've got your sparks, stuff like that. But for me, just the game that I like playing the most with other people is uh, is Sprint Vector, like AJ said. It's got that fun kind of Mario Kart vibe, but you are actually putting in a lot of effort to get yourself around. And if you don't, you kind of lose and you go slow. So it's it's part of the gameplay to be constantly in motion and really, uh, you know, getting a sweat going. So, yeah, Sprint Vector is great. And I think it's available, or not available through Perp yet, but maybe someday. I'm going to go with Spark. Uh, Spark is, we recently did a Without Pearl Spark tournament. And, man, that game doesn't get enough love. It seemed, I remember leading up to launch, I was kind of laughing at it, being like, this is, seems so dumb. You get two guys, one at the end of each corridor, and you're throwing two balls back and forth at each other. And so it kind of, and so initially, I was like, this seems too simple. This seems kind of silly. Why are we doing this in VR? All those normal questions you ask before you get to play a game. And then you play it, and you go, man, I was like, this is everything I want in a, in a VR sport, right? It kind of, it, it adds the, uh, the, the physicality of, of, of pitching something along with dodging. And it's just, you don't even know how much how much of a workout you're getting until the next day when you wake up and you're like why am i so sore <laughs> like all yeah. over the place and i got and i got to tell you man one of our one of our viewers kev gret was like brian you need to get uh headbands sweatbands because Ooh. dude when i play spark i sweat and don't even realize it and then like i got a puddle on the floor underneath me and i'm constantly cleaning off my lenses and stuff so make sure to save your vr headset uh and yourself uh, get get some get some headbands, sweatbands, whatever you want to call them, and uh, and and use these when you play in VR. Totally, worth absolutely. It. Need that question, Dave? Why does fitness yeah. work so well in VR? I think one of the reasons fitness works so well in VR is because um, you know there's always been this level of you want to have a distraction when you're working out. So if you're at the gym, you have a TV or you bring an audio book or you listen to music or something to keep you going. Well, this kind of gamifies the whole experience. So the entire time you are focused on something that's fun and distracts you from the fact that you are actually, you know, putting in that physical effort. So I think it just makes it a lot easier to spend more time doing it because it's not boring. Like I could play Beat Saber for two hours straight if I, if I had the time, you know, if I felt like it. Um, whereas I wouldn't want to sit on a treadmill for two hours with nothing in front of my face, I'd be bored out of my mind. Yeah. So I think that's the big thing. I'm going to, I'm going to agree with you, man, because I think that when I'm playing a game, I do, I feel, I feel like I'm making progress. I'm actually doing something and getting something done. You, usually when I go to the gym, that's gym time. And I always find it detrimental to everything else in life that I'm doing other than, you know, actual physical health and fitness and stuff. Um, but when I'm actually like getting trophies or I'm, or I'm completing a song in Beat Saber, like you said, that like I wasn't able to accomplish before, that is the ultimate distraction. And man, sign me up, man. Because again, I don't even know I'm getting a workout until long after it's over. Yeah, it works so well. Uh, fitness works really well in VR because you're having, especially when you use the move controllers, most people are used to playing a game sitting on the couch with a controller in their hand, just looking at the TV, and, and they're really only their thumbs and their fingers are moving. VR requires, there's a lot of VR games that require you to physically swing your arms or to physically punch, um, or, you know, a lot of games that you would usually play sitting down, you play standing up and you're ducking and you're crouching and you're turning side to side. And so just the combination of your having to actually physically move your body around and do stuff uh, can be a pretty, really good workout. Yeah, and I mean, they say even just standing is a good health thing you don't want to be sitting all the time so like even if it's not a strenuous vr game like firewall at least i'm standing the whole time and that's better for my body than being sat on the couch for the whole gameplay session well, well then so. you've got stuff like a lot of servios games where they have a lot of these swinging your arms mo uh, in motion and stuff to move so or for locomotion so you know you've um you've got creed for example we've already talked about sprint vector a bunch where you swing your arms like this Creed has a similar thing where you do kind of like a like a windmill bicycle kind of motion with your hands. And this is after you've been punching for the last five minutes 
now you're you're doing this motion with your hands. So um, stuff like Sirento too, where you're standing up, you're jumping around, and you you have to raise your hands in in the air. You have to like uh, turn and stuff like this. So you're doing a lot of like stretching in that process. What fitness, what fitness VR game or app are you looking forward to most? Um, I guess the fitness app I'm looking forward to most is O Shape. It used to be called On Shape. Strange name change. I'm sure it's a legal thing. And yeah, as you guys are doing, it's so much uh, kind of like a takeoff of one of those Japanese TV shows where yeah. there's a shape coming at you in a wall and you have to contort your body to kind of fit through that shape. Uh, and it's just so goofy and, uh, and, and something that I just don't think works very well outside of VR uh, because they did try it on PlayStation 3 with the original move controllers. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, it wasn't wasn't fun. Uh, and I'm like actually really looking forward to playing something this, this silly and goofy. Uh, and also, you know, it looks like kind of a workout as well. You could move through these things kind of fast. I'm excited to try it out. Awesome. Yeah, I think mine is, um, it's already out technically on some platforms, but Pistol Whip is a surprising amount of a workout. You are constantly doing squats and like positioning your body like this. And you know, there's bullets coming from everywhere and there's a lot of contorting you have to do and uh, you know, ducking and, and weaving and dodging. So I always end up, my calves and my legs just end up feeling totally burned out after that game in a good way. Um, Cause I don't even realize till afterwards, I'm just having such a good time. Nice. So that will be very good on PSVR. So what I'm looking forward to the most is actually a hybrid between a fitness app and a game, and it's by Fit Reality, and it's called Vero Move, uh, supposedly coming to PlayStation VR later. And it's a combination of like a rhythm game with uh, both slicing with like swords, shooting with guns, and boxing uh, with punching. So uh, it looks like it has some really stunning environments and good variety of movement and dexterity that you have to have too uh with like dodging obstacles so it's kind of just looks like everything in one small package and uh, i'm really looking forward to playing that and seeing what that's all about yeah that sounds really cool i like the variety 